In today's video, we're going to be looking at changing the subject of a formula. So you often get given a formula and then the question will read, make a different letter the subject instead. And as always, it's easier if you look at some examples. So in this first example, we need to make X the subject of Y equals MX plus C. And so your answer at the end should be something like X equals something, something, something. And we need to work out what that something is. So if we have y equals mx plus c to begin with, the crucial thing when you're making a different letter the subject of the formula is you need to get the x value by itself. And the first thing we need to do, therefore, is to get rid of the c, because at the moment we have mx plus c on the right-hand side. So how do we get rid of c? Well, we take away c from both sides. So you end up with y minus c equals mx. And then we need to make x by itself, and at the moment it's being multiplied by m. So how do you stop it being multiplied by m? Well, you divide by m on both sides. So y minus c, make sure the whole lot is divisible by m, equals x. And then just because it's good practice to have the thing you're making the subject of the formula on the left-hand side, just rewrite it the other way around. But obviously you haven't made any further changes. And that is your final answer. So let's look at some further examples, starting with question one. Make m the subject of e equals mc squared. So write it all out as it is to begin with. And now we need to work out, how do we get m by itself on the right-hand side? Because at the moment it's being multiplied by c squared. So what you really want to do here is divide by c squared on both sides. And that is your final answer. I'm just rewriting it to make sure that m is on the left-hand side. In question two, make x the subject of y equals x plus 3 over 5. So the first difficulty here is that the x is being divided by 5, and we need to remove that 5. So we need to multiply both sides by 5 to get 5y equals x plus 3. And then obviously the x by itself, we need to take away 3 from both sides. And then just rewrite to make sure that x is on left hand side and that is your final answer in part three make r the subject of v equals a third pi r squared h this is more difficult so we've got v equals a third pi r squared h and look at the most disgusting bit first of all and try and get rid of that and it's the third we don't want it being times by a third so in order to get rid of it and make it equal one we effectively need to multiply a third by three and remember we do the same to both sides of the equal side so let's do times by 3 as our first step to get 3v equals pi r squared h. The next issue is that r squared is being multiplied by pi and h. So to get rid of those, we need to divide by pi h. So it becomes 3v over pi h equals r squared. And then lastly, it says make r the subject. It really does mean r by itself. So you need to square root both sides and therefore you get a final answer which is quite tricky it's the square root of 3v over pi h let's do a couple more examples and remember to pause the video now i've showed you the method and have a go at seeing if you can actually answer the questions yourself and if your answer matches mine so question four make a the subject of v squared equals u squared plus 2as so we have v squared equals u squared plus 2as to get the 2as by itself, we need to minus u squared from both sides. And then to get a by itself, we need to divide both sides by 2s. And therefore, that is your final answer, and I'm just rewriting it on the other side. So it's better written. And in our final example, make h the subject of v equals the third pi r squared h. Another tricky one here, very similar to the one we did on the previous slide. So, again, that third is tricky, so how do we get rid of it? Well, we need to make it equal 1. How do we do that? By multiplying both sides by 3. Now we need to get h by itself, and inconveniently it's being multiplied by pi r squared at the moment. So how do we get rid of it? By dividing by pi r squared. And that's actually your final answer. Luckily, there's no square rooting needed because H was already by itself. Right, I hope you found this video really helpful, guys. Don't forget to sub and like and tell your friends and teachers about my channel. I'll be back soon. Bye.